What's up guys? Welcome back by this new video. Today in the World of Wonders season. I just claimed my rank and today I'm going to test this Mix Magius out. Miss Magius is a ghost type and has Dark Pulse and Shadow Ball and I used the fast attack Psywave on it and it will be assisted by any Lape and Pelosent with Pelosent with a scent attack, a new attack. So right now, starting with an any lab against the Mandy Bus. This goes very gay. I'm going here for an ice punch against the Mandy Bus once again. Unfortunately, the, she can just make it to an area ways, so I'm just committing it. And here's the first time I'm testing the new Psy Wave attack out, and it's just terribly bad. It's just like even a worse version of um dragon breath i will say its energy generation is so slow and at this point i am just unable to win because she will shield uh i think my shadow ball as well or no, she has uh, switched into her wish cash, so I couldn't do much against. But yeah, it was pretty interesting video that I've made. <laughs> but you will see it. Right now, Bellow Sand, I'm just trying to go, but problem is wish cash is just too fast, so I cannot do much with that. But yeah, opponent, I'm making at least one ni very nice catch, but yeah, the man time is just too too fast to make a move. So, yeah, I cannot do much against that. So, yeah, I've lost the first match of the new season. Then I'm hopping into the second match against Rambach. And we're starting against a new Psycho Cut Glade. At this point, I notice my Psy Wave of my Miss uh, Magius is just completely useless, this Pokemon. But I still continued with the video at this point. Um, and, yeah... We're seeing how Miss Magius does <laughs> almost nothing in this uh, match. But yeah, that Bastiodon I can pretty easily encounter with my Anylape and Pelosan. But at this point, I think I had to throw in my Anylape. Because then I don't think that Bastiodon will be able to uh, yeah, KO me. Right now, I'm making pretty much a huge mistake. Because opponent could just let it go and then I will... Just lost the match. Um, yeah, opponent can just barely make it to an area ways. That's really unfortunate. And then he brings out his Glade with the Psycho Cut. Really nice Pokemon, to be honest. And yeah, but how? F look at how fast that Pokemon can deal. Even my Scent Attack cannot do anything here or my fellow Scent. But as we're speaking over. That scent attack. Scent attack, I really like that move. Just like a one turn faster mud shot. I think it's almost the same like a mud shot, so that's pretty interesting. But yeah, into the third match, uh, any lap against Mewell. Going for Ice Punch. Opponent nicely shielded it. Going for another Ice Punch because I didn't want it to throw another shield, or at least that opponent. Will throw another shield. Uh, right now, opponent will throw his, uh, yeah, his uh, Altaria. But as you can see, Psy Wave is just even worse than a Dragon uh, Breath. So and its energy generation is just so bad. But luckily enough, I somehow won the CMP. I honestly have to say that I don't own the best Miss Magius, but. It wouldn't really matter at this point. Um, I Shadow Bolt that Altaria down. And in the back I was very lucky. I got a Cantonian Raichu. Or at least an Electric type. And that means my Pelo Sand can do his job. Making it to a scare, uh, Scorching Sand. And just winning the match very easily. So then into the fourth match. At this point two loses into one win. Pretty interesting. Against Ewakashia or something like that. Starting very bad into 
Wiggly Tough, but then I'm making a huge switch mistake. I switched into my Miss Magius that in the first point has a dark attack and ghost that both deal not very effective damage. So yeah, I just completely sacrificed one Pokemon here. Um, but at least the Scorching Sand KOs that weakly tough, and it, then it continues quite good because opponent brings out a Compuscan. I don't know why, but yeah, we don't see that Pokemon very often. And I can just counter him down with my Anilape. And in the back, I was very lucky because the opponent had an, uh, a Frostless. So I could just throw the first Shadow Ball that, that uh, she shielded. And then another Shadow Ball that just KO'd her. So that went perfectly. So right now into the last match of the first three. We're going against Marzin. Uh, going any leap into an Hexorus. Hexorus this time just with Dragon Tail. It seems that Dragon Tail Hexorus become a little bit more popular than the counter one. He went for a breaking swipe. He could make that perfect. Uh, yeah, he got that lucky with that attack drop. I switched into my uh, yeah Miss Magus into the whimsical, but I'm making the same mistake once again because at this point. I didn't notice that just a charm would just instantly KO my Miss Magius without any yeah, move that I could do. Because Miss Magius has only Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball and Dazzling Gleam as moves. So yeah, that's quite difficult. Uh, right now I KO'd him, but problem is that um, Beatrill just KO'd my thing a little bit before. I couldn't do much against that. So I had to stay in with my any lady. Hopefully made it to a potential Shadow Ball and then Scorching Sense or maybe Shadow Ball as well with my uh, Palo Sand uh, beat roll down. But right now we had a very interesting match. This is just a match that you see in the, f yeah, when you're starting in a new season. Opponents with just very interesting Pokemon, like Jinx. And I honestly thought that I would lose this battle, but you will see somehow I've won this. <laughs> because opponent is bringing back his, her uh, Duzian. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, And I can just continue with my Pelo Scent here. Go for Scorching Scent. Uh, once again, not an attack drop. I think... Uh, while recording, I didn't got any attack drops on my side, so yeah, I was very unlucky with that. But uh, yeah, I'm continuing here with Ice Punch. But when she goes for a Tangela, that's uh, also an interesting Pokemon that we do not see. But yeah, as you can see, early battles are most of the time just free wins. If you are starting a little bit later. But right now into the second match of the second streak, I think. Starting any late into a Flygon. Not a Flygon with that scent attack. Um yeah, I I at this point I knew that Miss Magius was just completely useless. So hoping that the opponent didn't know my energy generation, that she will throw Dragon Claw or another Earthquake. That happens. I don't know why, but that means at this point I could just throw out my any lape and pretty easily go for a very nice counter farm down and KOing thing. So yeah, pretty easily match right now against the Lapras with my any lape. I baited the first ice punch because most of the time they are shielding the first move. Uh then in high dragon in the back. And yeah, she cannot do much against it. And that's not her mistake. She tries to go for Brutal Swing that does quite some damage. But I at this point I just got two shields. But yeah, Scent Attack, I really like it from Palo Scent. Really like it. Um, right now, third match. 
I think for the first time doing this recording, guys, maybe I have to slower it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I don't know yet. But at least opponent threw out a Rhyperior and then an Hexorus. I was very happy because I would I could just throw in my Miss Mancus, but the opponent instead of having a breaking swipe, he has a Dragon Claw. I honestly don't know why he got that, so yeah. He just KO'd my Miss Mangius and then I had to use a shield here. That was very unfortunate. At this point I didn't know why I threw out the Shadow Ball because Ice Punch will already be able to KO. So yeah, I'm just letting my uh, any lip right now just die. And here I'm making just a huge mistake. Instead of just shielding, opponent goes just for a skull. I expected an icy wind at first, but then I noticed opponent had a mud bomb, a uh, mud shot as fast move. So I couldn't do anything against that. If I just shielded the first move, I still needed that attack drop. But then I, yeah, I had a chance that I will have won that match, but yeah. But right now against Jack. Uh, we're starting against an Vaporeon that has a strong Aquatil. That move is a little bit more powerful at this point. It's very interesting as well. I'm go going straight for the Shadow Ball. I could go for Ice Punch Bait at this point, but it's not a problem. He goes for another Aquatil. I'm shielding this once again because I really wanted to win that switch. And that I'm very happy that I did that because opponent goes into a keck turn. And because I went for a complete ghost type team, I couldn't do much against this. So yeah, Miss Magius against Slurpuff wasn't a joy because yeah, I will die because of that charm. So I'm just deciding to go into Bellosand before that Slurpuff could throw a move and I went for Scorching Sand, outpaced the Slurpuff and won the match. So into the next match, Anylave into a Jellicent. Pretty interesting one. Um, yeah, Jellicent can just outpace me, but I wanted to throw one move. Hopefully uh, just uh, making the opponent a little bit more confused because of Miss Mangius, but yeah, Psy Wave wasn't the best move, to be honest. Oh, really bad. They need to fix that move, for sure. More like a Dragon Breath. I I uh, would have expected it, but probably not. But at least I'm continuing with some farm here. Opponent going for Ice Punch. Not a problem. Almost KOing, but because Counter was double not very effective and wasn't fast enough, I decided to go for that uh, sent attack farm down and that went just perf completely perfect right now i made a little bit of a mistake because this isn't the br warmer than trash that i originally would have expected but it's a warmer than trash i think or at least it's not the pink it's just the green one so yeah at this point i could just throw in my any lape but this will be hard I just could outpace the opponent with my Shadow Ball and KO him. And I was very happy with that. I claimed my tailor here a little bit of rewards, got, got the Primeape. Not too special, but yeah. Guys, at least this season, or at least this month, I really want to make a goal, and that's 400 subscribers. It's quite difficult. We need 89 more. But I'm sure we can make it, so please like and subscribe, it helps me a lot. And right now, into the third streak, we're starting against an Ivysaur. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, it's not a uh, perfect one, but my Miss Magius was pretty good against it, so I could just go and stay in for the first time. So opponent went for a, a Clang, we don't see that Pokemon very often, but... Yeah, I could then throw in my uh, Bellow Sun to go for an entire Sand Attack farm down. Still really like that fast move. I didn't try to, uh, the Metal Sound out, maybe next video, but at least opponent goes into a Gloom. Pretty interesting one. 
Uh, I'm deciding to go for Ice Punch. Opponent nicely shields. But I really wanted to KO that Gloom because uh, my Pelocent will die instantly. So opponent in the back has an Ivysaur. That Pokemon will destroy my Pelocent instantly as well. I just didn't want it to throw any moves anymore. So I decided to go for Counter Fire now and I nicely won the match. Right now into the second match of the third streak. Um, we will go against Leon Hart, something like that. Starting pretty, in yeah, pretty. I will say pretty good, but then I noticed it's a confusion, uh, Cresselia. So this battle went completely, completely wrong because any lape loves to have a psycho cut, um, Cresselia instead of confusion. And because Corselia could just quite easily destroy my Pelocent here, he went for a future side. Luckily enough, I threw almost on the CMP. Just the Scorching Scent. I could go for the CMP, but I didn't notice that I already had a move. So, yeah, then luckily enough, I could throw in my Anilabe. But opponent in the back had a Shadow Machamp. I could just easily destroy that with the Shadow Ball. But then in the back there was a Charger Bug with, um, I think, Thunder Shock. And I don't know that energy generation yet. So, unfortunately, I died because of that. But I think even with the Volt Switch, I will die. It. But still, very interesting match. Right now, into the third match of the third streak against Shores something. We Started very weak against a Noctil. Oh, I really hated this one. Uh, opponent went for shed Shadow Ball. I just shielded it just to be safe. Opponent goes into a Trevenant. I decided to go for some Dark Pulse here. It went okay. But at this point, Trevenant and that other thing, I just couldn't won this match. So I decided to commit it. I couldn't do much. So I lost twice right now in this streak. So into the Swampert. Any leap against Swampert. Went very good. I made sort of a catch on the Hydro Cannon with my Miss Magius. But luckily enough, he threw out his move instantly. After uh, nine match shots, his second uh, Hydro Cannon. This uh, Ice Punch went on the CMP that I've won. Very nice. Was proud, finally. <laughs> Um, yeah, Hydro Cannon, I just shielded it, but in the, then the opponent had a very annoying Pokemon, and that was the Talon Flame. I had to go for a back-to-back -back Shadow Ball to be able to KO, so I needed to shield this Flame Charge. I just shielded it. I almost crashed out because of lag issues here, but then opponent had a Meganium in the back. And I couldn't do anything. Then I got some kind of an error that I noticed after 10 seconds, maybe 15, <laughs> as you can see. But um, yeah, then I noticed it to go into the final match of this video against Hannah Ula or something like that. Any Lape against Walrein. Any Lape can do quite something here. I just shielded the first Icicle Spear. I think uh, that was uh, the good thing to do. Then I made a beautiful catch on my Miss Magius. She went for Icicle Spear that didn't do much. Then she brought in a Venusaur and even with a Poison type. That Psywave just absolutely just didn't do that much damage that I expected. So I just continued here with some Ice Punches. I knew that I just had to destroy that, or at least defeat that Venusaur with Ice Punch, because otherwise my uh, Pelocent will absolutely die here. Luckily enough, she brought back her Wall Rain, so I could go for a little bit of farm, because that Electrode will just destroy me. And yeah, that was the game. So overall, Psywave of Miss Magius, I really enjoyed it. But, yeah, it's just 
low on energy generation and that's why I hated it. But anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely press that like and subscribe button. It always helps me. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.